My name is uh, Daniel Oluwashio Adebayo. I'm the Chief Operating Officer, Digital House Transport Limited. Digital House is a registered transportation company that offer full service land transportation and logistics service with the state of the heart repairs and maintenance workshop and technology to enhance its operation. Some of our services include shuttle services and staff bus operation, which is the major aspect where we play. We also provide corporate pool vehicles provide intra and interstate transfers, vehicle rental servicing, as well as fleet management consulting. Our major focus is providing seamless transportation for teaming working force of Lagos. So our concentration is in Lagos right now. We provide shuttle and staff bus operation for some of the major organizations that are domiciled here in Lagos. Yeah, the major challenges we face, we have a lot of it. Ranging from, ranging from the government policies to bad roads, to increase in price of um, materials and um, spare parts that we use. Some of the challenges that we cannot but uh, deal or live with is government policies. Sometimes the policy comes out and we, we have to pay, we have to verify, do verification. In this, our own business, generally, we expected that government should come up with policy that can make small business grow in terms of giving loan. If I tell you that this business started with investors bringing their own money to invest in this business without any single contribution from the government. We try to get the loan. It's either they give you, uh, they give you um, things that you request that you, they know that you cannot meet. Requirement that they know that you cannot meet. Somebody that is just starting business and he need about 100 million to, to start the business. You are asking him to go and bring the collateral that worth 200 million. How will such person get it? So I think government should come more with policy. They should liaise with the CBN how they can help the upcoming entrepreneur to get funding. Funding is the major issue that we have. Secondly, the issue that we are having is favorable environment to transact business. I cannot count how many times hoodlums have stopped our vehicle on the road, demanding for their own share of the cake. I cannot count how many times road safety, last man, VIO, demanding for for a speed limiter on a road that a vehicle cannot even do 50 km per hour. Imagine road safety demanding speed limiter on a road that you are, your speed is already being limited by potholes and traffic. So government should support on those hard policy that make business difficult for people to do, most especially in Lagos. So and I think with that, it will encourage more youth to invest in business rather than investing in Japa syndrome that is rampaging now. Lagos State government needs to do more by collaborating with private organizations in running the transportation system of Lagos State. Because there are a lot of cycle fans around governments that will not actually tell government the truth of what is happening in the transportation system but when governments collaborate with private organizations like digital or transport limited they will be able to understand 
what is suitable for the kind of business we run in Lagos. And I think that will go a long way to help the government and as well help the private organization. So that takes me to our mission and vision. Our mission is using technology to provide auto solution. And our vision is to be the one stop point for auto solution. So the client we serve, they are rest assured that we are dealing with machine. Machine can break down at any time. So when there is breakdown, when there is downtown, they know that there is always a stop gap. They know that there is, we, we have all the machinery that, we, that are supposed to be in place to ensure that the downtime does not exceed the normal time and does not affect their business in any way. Our turnaround time is very, very solid. That is our uniqueness. Managing the drivers, managing the mechanic, managing the, the vendors. Because there are some things that you have to sort vendor from outside. It has been a very difficult task because actually everybody is looking for, I must chop, I must chop, I must chop. But how we have been able to do that, we have deployed technology in such a way that it manages, it manages our human resources, it manages our finance, it manages other resources that we uh, equipment in terms of equipment and machinery. So we have technology that we use that manages that. We have tracker on all our vehicle that manages the fuel consumption, that manages the mileage, repair and maintenance. And that is our mission: using technology to provide auto solution.